Hey folks, man, thanks again for clicking the button. I'm just here to help you have the best hunt you can have in Alaska. And, there, and look, the reason why you're here, you wanna go to Alaska to hunt, DIY, and you wanna be successful. Bottom line, and you wanna know how to do all this, and I know all of this, and the reason being is I live here. So thanks again, and let's get this show on the road. My name's Troy Sessions, I'm the co-founder of 60 Inch Club. I've hosted a couple of different television shows uh, and I've hosted and produced a half a dozen hunting videos that are sold nationwide, including uh, Canada and Finland. Uh, in, they're in the stores, all of them, Cabela's, Gander Mountain, Bass Pro, Shields, and actually 4,000 uh, small stores nationwide in America. I'm a, I'm a certified licensed, federally licensed bush pilot with my own Super Cub airplane. Uh, which allows me to get out there into the far reaches of uh, the Arctic of Alaska. I've had a lot of bear run-ins, high rivers, oh. flooding rivers. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot. I've taken a ton of big animals in Alaska, from giant moose to grizzly bears to humongous caribou, uh, black bears seven feet tall, uh, squared, grizzly bears nine feet squared. So yeah, I know I know quite a bit. I've done a lot of camping out out there in remote Alaska. When you're in, when you finally make it to Alaska after watching my course, you're going to be like, I that was the best thing I've done yet. I got the best person in the world to give me the best to put me in line with my strategy of how to go hunting in Alaska, where to go hunting, and be successful. If the only thing if if you only retain half of the information that I'm going to share with you, only half of it, it'll still be well worth uh, the money spent, okay? And by the way, I'm also giving you four free hunting videos. My hunting videos that are currently being sold, you're not losing anything here, okay? You're getting all your investment back, so they work. Linda, show them some of the pictures of our, our very, very successful hunters, okay? You're going to just blow your mind. So you're asking yourself, you know, how does this work? And it's easy, and I'm gonna show it to you. I'm gonna explain it to you. It's so easy, you're gonna, oh, it's gonna blow your mind. But if you implement these things, if you implement these techniques, it's gonna be a game changer for you. When you get back home successfully, you're gonna call me up and say, that was the best advice you'd ever given me, Troy. So here's what the training course is gonna be about. How are you going to get there? your bush flight costs in the area you plan on, on hunting. Know the land you're going to hunt is very important. Is it native land? Is it BLM? Private? You've got to know this. It's really important for you. The max time you can hunt in certain lands, you've got to know that. It's different from one piece of property to another piece of property. Some you can only have a 10 days max out in the field, and the others it's two weeks. And what about the no-fly zones? There are a barrage of no-fly zones out there. You must know. You cannot hunt them. How to quarter out a moose? There's a certain way to do it. Leaving the sex naturally attached to the meat? You must know if, what to do there. It's, it's important. Um, packing your gear for your backpack and later to have it fit in the plane to maximize the cubic feet in the plane? Have you, have you talked about that? Do you know what that's all about? I do, I'm gonna explain it to you. Um, this can save you money as well. Packing that plane, being prepared for your bush flight can save you money and, and save you money in less trips. What you must know as you are getting close to the hunting area during your flight in. This is a big game changer and I happen to know it and most people have no clue about this. It's, uh, it's awesome. Caliber selection and optics. While considering the ever-present danger of grizzlies. Real important. Sacrifice on smaller gun, but then you're going to run into a grizzly. I will have all the answers to your questions during this live training event. All of a sudden, sitting there, and then here comes in a, a bull that you're like, wow, where did you come from? They plop up, and here they come in at noon. I've taken a lot of moose at, from 11.30 to, to 1. I mean, one time, it took me four days to call in a 70-inch bull. And that bull was four miles away with three cows. Obviously, he probably serviced those cows. And then after 
he was done with that, uh, with his business, he, he come into my sexy cow calls. Uh, my first series of cow calls, and then that's it. Don't overdo the cow calling. You can blow it with a cow call. And we were in plain view of this giant 67 inch bull, but I've done it many times. So the reason why I will pull a raft up river to my hunting area or bluff that evening is so that it's a night and it's the perfect timing. It's all probably almost dark or getting close to it, or maybe it is dark. When you're floating that river, you can't see out of that river very well. Usually the rivers are sunken down about, I don't know, five, eight, 10 feet and you don't get to see what's on, over the top of those alders. It could be a moose laying in that meadow just over the side of the bank there, you'll never know it. You will be successful doing that. You will be 10 times more successful. It's really important that you quarter it up properly and you take the maximum amount of meat off of the bone structures. Uh, you can get fined for wanton waste loss for as little as 10 pounds of meat that's been left on the bone. Another nice tip here is you definitely want to pull the meat, tight mesh, synthetic bag, and it's super strong, uh, way stronger than the other kind. And you, you could, man, they, you can rewash them and use them again next year. They're just the best way to go. But hey folks, let's talk about bear problems. And every now and then you're gonna run into that here in Alaska. I've had bears tear apart my tents before. But the real issue was, another big tip for you is do not put your meat, your, your quartered up moose or caribou, right? Oh. If you do have a bear that decides to charge you, you know, what I would recommend. So let's move on to your gear list. And you want to stay warm and dry, that's the name of the game. Depending if you're floating or, or whatever you're going to be doing, warm and dry. When it comes to picking your tent, I can't tell you how many times I've, I've taken animals sitting right from camp. Totally quiet, because I always stay quiet in my camps. I don't have no chainsaws. I don't run in. Another, another nice feature I like to bring with me is, uh, and before you laugh, you just, just hear me out, okay? The last thing you want to do is be pumping water two or three times a day. Here's a nice tip for you. Go in and get the, we've talked about the sleeping bags, we've talked about the pads. Now let's talk about cots. I do it because it's, I got the airplane and I'm more limited in the plane than anything. Um, you can put them in your backpack, it depends on how much you wanna carry. And I'm usually around 65 to 70 pounds of gear, but keep in mind. But you know, go with what uh, you, you would like to spend or how much you wanna afford there. Uh, more money usually means lighter and more compactability in everything that you get here, so keep that all in mind. And that has turned every one of them away. I have heard stories and I have a friend that has had to shoot one and kill it. It does happen. Be prepared for it. Don't be scared about it. Bottom line is, I just want to help you. I've helped so many of my friends over the years take giant animals year after year after year. I get an animal every time I go out in the field. When I go out in the field, I get what I'm going for every time. And I just want you to experience the same success that I've experienced in the past 30 years. You've seen the footage already. I've done an amazing amount of hunting in Alaska and I, I really enjoy what I do. And I, I'm now at the point where I really enjoy helping folks like you know everything that you need to know before you even get into Alaska. That's what this is all about, is me helping you and I love to help people. So click the button below and I'll see you on the other side in this live training event. This is one you just cannot miss. I'm Troy Sessions. See you on the other side.